Beetlejuice is nearing the end of its life and is expected to go supernova soon. This explosion will have a significant impact on the surrounding space and even impact Earth and life on it. Beetlejuice, a red supergiant star located in the constellation of Orion, has been a subject of fascination for astronomers and stargazers alike. Red supergiant stars are one of the largest and most massive stars in the universe. Their diameter ranges from 100 million to 1 billion kilometers wide, which is about 100 to 1,000 times wider than our sun. A red supergiant, just like a red giant, is a dying star in the final stages of stellar evolution. There is a difference between red supergiants and red giants. While a red giant might form when a star with the mass of our sun runs out of fuel, a red supergiant occurs when a star with more than 10 solar masses begins this phase. Such a star dies when it runs out of fuel to burn in its core. As the star exhausts its fuel, it can no longer create the heat and pressure needed to support its own weight, causing it to collapse. This collapse creates an explosion known as a supernova, which can leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole. The energy released during this process can have a significant impact on the surrounding space. The star has been a topic of speculation for many years about when it will go supernova. While Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, studies suggest the star isn't slated to explode for another 100,000 years. When the dying star goes supernova, it would be a remarkable event, with implications for astronomy and our understanding of the universe. Betelgeuse is a massive star, estimated to be about 20 times the mass of the Sun, and it's nearing the end of its life. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has expanded to become one of the largest stars known, with a radius estimated to be about 800 times that of the Sun. This expansion has caused Betelgeuse to become unstable, and it's expected to go supernova at some point in the future. The red supergiant is only 642 light years away from us. By cosmic standards, that's our backyard. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would be one of the most spectacular astronomical events in human history. The explosion would have a range of impacts on Earth, some of which are still not fully understood. The supernova would release an enormous amount of energy, with estimates suggesting it could release as much energy as the Sun will over its entire lifetime. All that radiation, including gamma rays, X-rays, and cosmic rays, would certainly have some measurable effects on Earth's environment and potentially be harmful to life on Earth. This radiation can damage DNA and other cellular structures, potentially leading to cell death, mutations, and cancer. However, the Earth's atmosphere would likely shield us from most of this radiation, which would probably have only a minor impact on life. Due to the proximity, the explosion of Betelgeuse would be visible to the naked eye from Earth for several weeks or even months. During this time, the supernova would appear as a very bright point of light in the sky, potentially casting shadows at night. This could have an impact on nocturnal animals that rely on darkness to hunt, navigate, and communicate. Owls, for example, rely on their acute night vision to hunt and navigate in the darkness. The increased brightness caused by the supernova could interfere with their ability to see in the dark, potentially making it harder for them to hunt and avoid predators. And then, some insects, such as fireflies, use bioluminescence to communicate with each other. The increased brightness of the supernova could interfere with their ability to communicate, potentially altering their behavior and mating patterns. In addition to the impacts on individual animals, the increased brightness could also have an impact on the ecology of the area. For example, increased light pollution can interfere with the migration patterns of birds and can have an impact on the behavior of insects, potentially disrupting the balance of the ecosystem. Some models suggest that the supernova could also cause changes in the ozone layer and alter the climate for some time. The explosion of Betelgeuse would also have important implications for astronomy. The event would provide astronomers with an opportunity to study the properties of supernovae in more detail, and it would enable scientists to learn more about the life cycle of massive stars. But then, on the negative side, the brightness would make it harder for us to observe stars and could interfere with telescopic observations. But all these effects would likely be too small to matter. Astrophysicists have predicted that we would have to be within 50 light years of an exploding star for it to significantly affect us. Betelgeuse is over 10 times that distance. 
After the initial period of brightness, the supernova would gradually fade over months or years, becoming less and less visible to the naked eye. But supernovae don't just represent death or the end, they are also part of the beginnings too, as they play an important role in the formation of new stars and planets in the universe. When a massive star reaches the end of its life and goes supernova, it releases a shockwave that compresses nearby gas and dust clouds, creating regions of high density that can collapse under their own gravity and form new stars. This process is known as triggered star formation, and it's thought to be responsible for the formation of many new stars in our galaxy. Without supernovae, the universe would be much poorer in heavy elements, and the development of complex life may not have been possible. Supernovae are powerful forces that shape the evolution of the cosmos. Without supernovae, the universe would be a very different place, with fewer stars, fewer planets, and a much poorer diversity of life. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.